What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So I've been pretty inactive the last month as far as making videos and content. Um, and there's a reason for that. Uh, life has been lifing. Uh, I mean that in a good way. Um, it's, it's actually something very positive. It's not anything bad, but it's kept me very preoccupied uh, during the last month. So that's why I haven't really been making videos and things like that. Um, and I'll, I'll explain what it is at a little bit later time. Um, so uh, in this video, we're talking about Hellblade 2. It's confirmed to run at 30 FPS on Xbox Series S and X uh, with no performance mode option available. Only way you're going to be able to play it at above 30 frames is PC, of course. Um, and the VFX director of Hellblade 2, he spoke to GamePro. Go figure, game bro. Uh, and here's what he said. So he confirmed the console version is going to run at 30 FPS with a dynamic resolution. So it's not even going to be native 4K uh, with no additional graphics. Uh, and his explanation was, and we've heard this one before, and the first person to say it, they were full of shit. And this guy is also full of shit. Um, Slater Tuns Tunstill explained that locking the console version to Hellblade 2 to 30 FPS made the experience feel more cinematic. However, he did not specify if it was due to anything else, such as technical limitations of the Xbox Series S. So, first of all, I almost don't want to believe he actually said this. I actually want more confirmation from, I don't know, another source that he said this, because it's like hard to believe that developers are still trying to use this this reasoning as to why a console uh, a game would be locked to 30 fps it just feels like y'all still trying to get get over with that one people are still people are people still buying that one that that's a very like early ps4 uh xbox um xbox one type of excuse that maybe you you could have floated that one and and got enough people to believe you bro that's not working no more you need more people <laughs> we don't believe you bro uh it's he's full it's, it's full of shit this this reason is full of shit he's full of shit if he said this um anybody who uses this is full of shit because listen if you if you want to tell me the reason it's 30 fps is because you believe this is the better way of experience experiencing the game because it's cinematic then you would hard lock the PC version to 30 FPS also. Why isn't the PC version 30 FPS? Now, of course, that's bad business and that's bad practice. I'm not saying they should do that because I'm buying the game on PC, of course. But there, in the past, um, when developers didn't prioritize and care about PC uh, ports that much, you would get games on PC that were hard locked to 30 FPS and you would have to, as the, uh, you know, you'd have to do some shit behind the scenes and like the files and folders to um, to you to, you know, unlock the frame rate. So my point is, if he really felt that way, bro, lock lock the PC version too, lock that too. If it's better cinematically, wouldn't that make sense if that's the best version of the game that you want to put forth? So he's full of shit. No, we're not. We're not buying this. Let me make it clear. I'm not saying I would. I, I would never play a 30 FPS game. That's that's never been a statement I've made. Um, there, I, I absolutely believe there will be a very few cases of 30 FPS games um, that I will play in the future. GTA 6 is probably going to be one of them, most likely. But I, I, I do think... I, I do think have it on console having the option to only play as 30 FPS is mostly a thing of the past, mostly because I, I would say outside of Xbox and, and I do mainly play games on PC, but I would say outside of Xbox. Um, yeah. Outside of Xbox, most titles have options now. Correct me if I'm wrong. Cause like I said, I, I mainly only play, uh, game uh exclusives on on uh, on consoles right um on playstation so but as far as i can think of and as far as i know most of these like multi-plats have uh an option for performance or resolution um we know playstation games do it uh they always have an option for it's like a mandate damn near at playstation to have a performance mode 
uh, or resolution mode. And this is, I'm not making this an Xbox versus uh, PlayStation thing, but it's like, there's no way you're going to be able to convince me. You can't convince me this was done for cinematic reasons. That's number one. And you, there's no way you're going to be able to convince me that you couldn't also get this game to have a performance mode that maybe it ran at 1080p, uh, 60 frames. And the only reason that you could give me that that can't even be done would be because of this Xbox Series S. And if and I could imagine that possibly being the case. And they don't want to divulge that they don't want to say, hey, the reason we actually don't have a performance mode is because to have a performance mode on the Xbox Series S, that motherfucker would probably have to run at 720p or some or something like that at 60 FPS um, because the visual fidelity of Hellblade 2 I mean, we know it's very robust and very strong. So it's it's gonna be it's gonna be an amazing looking game. The first game looked looked amazing. It's gonna be you know it's one of those graphical showcases. Clearly, we know that. So I know people don't like you know the the conversation about the Series S has gone back and forth this this generation kind of since the beginning, but a lot of things have started to point that the Series S has been like a limitation and some issues because bro redfall i think it was redfall um there's no reason redfall didn't have one that game was absolute garbage in general maybe that's why they didn't you know have a 60 frames option if i remember correctly it didn't um starfield didn't have one you know people came up with the reasons i'm i'm not necessarily disputing it because uh starfield the game is so large and vast and there's so many systems and so much things going on in that game I can I can I can concede some some of that, but at the same time, when I see certain games, certain certain other games that are absolute graphical showcases and are even open world, and these other games, some of these other games are running at 1440p, 60 FPS. You you know, I have a hard time believing that it can't be done with this game and Hellblade 2. Um, as far as we know, it's it's not going to be like this open world game. It's like going to have wide areas and wide linear, I guess you, you, should, you, you could, you could call it. And I will say just because one developer is capable of doing it, I know the talent level in the industry is different. One developer could, you know, get a game running at 1800 P 60 FPS. It could be a beautiful game, open world, all that and all that. Another developer may not have the talent to pull that off. And that's why I think that's why I'm always in favor of these pro consoles, because I also think they can be this like a decent equalizer, whereas the that developer who's not so good and can't pull off the type of shit that the top tier one can do. Maybe maybe you could bring him up a notch to where he he's able to like get on that same level, you know, because there's something a crutch an equalizer helping him out. A lot of people thought we were going to be past uh, any games running at 30 FPS this generation. Um, some people thought that last generation, honestly, some, you know, some people thought like, you know, 30 FPS was going to be a thing of the past as far as console games, uh, console games go. That didn't happen. It's it's. I, I, I do think, like I said, outside of Xbox games, I do think the rest of the industry is kind of like adapting, you know, the, the, the you know, the, the option, um, the performance um, option. So I do c- kind of think it, it is becoming a thing of the past. But, you know, developers always want to to make their games look the best visually and graphically. And you can do that more with. um with like resolution and how crispy your game game looks rather than uh rather than frame rate and another point as to why his reasoning fall falls flat with this whole cinematic thing is i almost bet you i can guarantee you whether it be on this current console or a future console it's gonna have a 60 fps option they're gonna patch that in so it's it's not working, bro. You're going to have to come up with something else. Listen, I get it. The, the the numbers and the analytics may tell you that a game being 30 or 60 FPS 
may not really impact it that much negatively, positively in either either direction. Um, most people probably don't care, right? The majority of people most likely don't care. I will I will ad- admit that the casuals, right? So that's probably why they're they're okay with this, and and it doesn't help. Like if you look at a lot of early um, just discourse with the with the Xbox from Xbox executives and Xbox, you know, uh, representatives. Oh, they they just talked it up about uh, all games being 60 FPS moving forward, and it's gonna be it's gonna be like the standard. It's not gonna be mandated, but it's gonna be the standard. Oh, that's what you can expect. And yeah, it's. Hasn't been that. And by the way, um, just a minor correction, Redfall did l- launch locked at 30 FPS. They did patch that in uh, later later on. Um, we still people still waiting for that that uh, Starfield one Starfield patch, though. So let me know what y'all think about this. Um, hit the like button. Follow me on Twitter. I'm out. Peace.